It's me, it's me, it's Brandon T, and welcome to Painting with Magic. Okay, so welcome to the show today. Today we're going to do a nice little sunset for you. Thanks for warm you up inside and make you feel really good. So what I have today is I have the standard old 16 by 20 canvas up here. And I've got it covered with a nice thin, even coat of Magic White. And so and all that Magic White does is allows me to blend my old colors right on here on the canvas. So what we'll do is we'll go into some Indian Yellow. Nice Indian Yellow on a two and a half inch brush. It's a great old brush. It has beautiful things for us. So let's go up here now. And we'll say here's a sunset today. We do X strokes. And look at that beautiful sun. And the sun's a popping today for us. He's a feeling good. And we're going to some yellow ochre. Just a little bit of yellow ochre. And we're going to sunset. And we'll see yellow ochre right there. And it'll blend nice with the Indian yellow. Beautiful colors today. That's good, good, good. Maybe more, more, more yellow ochre. There's a little bit more on here. Just to darken it a little bit. And that's what I want. These colors make you feel good inside. Make you feel nice and happy. So I'll take a little a little permanent red, well, the old brush too. Don't need to wash it out. Just a little bit of that permanent red. And maybe a little cadmium yellow with it. Kind of make a little peachy, orangey kind of scene of a color. And we go on this side. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's a good color. Beautiful color. Then a little X stroke. That's X stroke. So that's good. Yeah, no, no, I think I'll take some more permanent red. Just because I want this little bit more red right there now. And we'll dance it in. Just do little swirls now. We'll just do little swirls. It don't matter today. This will make us nice little happy, beautiful little clouds. Beautiful clouds. And that's good, good, good. Now, now I think I'll take some Elysian Crimson. Just a little bit of Crimson. A little Elysian Crimson with it. And it'll harmonize with the permanent red. And that's nice. Oh, and that's good, 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 good. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more. And we're going to the side with it. <laughs> and we'll set the old brush down. I think I'll take a old one-inch brush. And what we'll do with that is we're going to play with the water now. We'll take some Indian yellow and a one-inch brush. Right down here. Get it in there. Oh, it's going to look good. And that sun's going to look nice in that water. It's going to dance around. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's going to look good for us. Maybe a little of that red. Kind of throws it in there with it. And it's going to look good today. It's going to look nice. Little hairs are too there. It don't matter. It don't matter. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, maybe a little bit more of that red with a little crimson in it. And look good over here. And I'm gonna come over to the side. I'm gonna pull in from the side. Okay, you see that? You see that? I gotta scrub it in a little bit more. And we probably won't see now some of this, but nah, if we do. It'll look really nice. It'll look nice and beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful water. Maybe a little bit more. That's good. A little bit more. A little bit more. That's good. Now, now I'll blend this out. And to, and to blend them, I'm just going to here and I'll do a little X strokes. And this will become nice and soft. Nice and soft. And the water, I'm going to do the same old thing. It's gonna look nice when we're done with this today. And that's good. Good. And now I think we need some beautiful little clouds in here. So I'm gonna take a little little fan brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of the little touch of Prussian blue. Just a tiny little bit of Prussian blue. 
And we'll go up here. And we'll just let it. Just little circles. Little circles today. Beautiful little circles. And it's good. It goes through here. And it looks really nice against the red. Okay. Don't want to go down into the, to the yellow. It'll make a nice little green color. But we don't want that today. We want this. This is what we want. Good, 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 good. Yeah, we'll beat that old brush out again. And we beefily blend them. Just blend them. Just soften them. And look at those. Ain't those beautiful? Ain't those nice? Now I think I think we need all mighty mountain in here today. So we'll make our big beautiful mountain. We need some brown, Van Dyke brown. We'll go down here. Ivory black, Prussian blue, titanium white. It mixes up a nice base color, okay? Just a real good nice base color. Using a big old knife. Big old knife. Good. And we give a little roll of paint. You see a little roll of paint there? Right on the edge of that old blade. Okay, a little bit of roll paint right there. That's easy to get it on there. Now I'll do a big old muddy mountain. And we'll go up here now. And I decide where I want it to be. And I'll say a mountain is here. There it comes. There comes my big mountain. My big mountain. Oh, it's good. Good, good, good. Now look at that. Na, 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 na. Do, do, do. Now a little peek. Press firm in that old canvas. You press firm in there. And you get it in. And you just sit and stroke it in. And you get that old mighty knife in there. Be able to hear the f how hard I'm, I'm scraping this in here. See it? Scrape it out. And then we wipe the old knife off. Then, then I'll take the old brush, the old dirty two and a half inch brush, and I'll just pull them out. Pull them out. That's good. That's good. And the old magic wire allows me to blend these old things out really easy. Really easy. It's back like that. Yeah, mountain's already looking good, good, good. Yeah, a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, the old mountain, we need some snow on it. We need some beautiful snow. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take some titanium white. A little Indian yellow. Let's get a little blue in it. Let's scrape that away. There we go. And some Indian yellow on there. More white in there with it. That's good, good. And get a little roll that paint as well. Just a little roll. That's good. Let's go up here. And we're going to do one on my stroke. One stroke. And we get that big beautiful stroke to come. And watch him. No pressure at all. Look at that. One stroke you got in the mountain. And we do our little mountain scene. That's good. And we're doing this little peek right here. The sun's shining on him. The sun's on him. The sun's way over there somewhere. That's good. Maybe more white. More white. That's good. Then we'll put the little shadows in here. And boom, then you're going to have some beautiful little, little shadow scenes. Now take some, some phthalo blue. Some, some titanium white. That's good. And we just there like that. We just to pop, pop, pop right off here today. Just popping right off there. No pressure at all. It just as it go. That's good. So far, so far, so good. And. We'll do more to this. No, don't, don't, don't be scared. And we'll take a little ivory black now. Ivory black. A little bit more. Up here. And we just put a little bit more in there. Automatically, this little peak right here will start to come away. 
pull them away from the other ones. Okay. Okay, good. I'm going to do some more hard. I'm going to do a little small knife now. Then come up here. I kind of want some blue mixed in with the in with that yellow, just a little bit to kind of create some other colors. To create some different colors going on. Okay. Good, good, good. And right here, some more on this side. Just some more, 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 more. That's good, okay. good, 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 good. Now I'll take the big knife again. A little bit more of that highlight color. And then right in here. Good. Okay, the little mountain's coming along, coming along. And I'll go back to the mountain base mixture. And I'll just and we'll make it look like it kind of wraps around. And all of a sudden, this little peaks out here, and now it's going farther and farther away. Okay, I think a little mountain looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit more over here, just kind of let them separate. Okay, good. And then we kind of fix the base of it with a little highlight. Okay, that's good. See, we've got all these beautiful mountains up here. And let's take, and let's do some, with a orange brush. We'll just kind of put some mist in here. And I'll just let it be that. What if we get that old hair off our, we're good now. And then I'll just, I'll just crunch this side now. And I'll kind of bring these around. And I'll bring it out a little bit. Pretty good, we'll just kind of, we can tap that on around. That easy. That easy we got those little things on. And we just kind of feather it out just a little bit. That's good. That's nice. That's a nice looking little mountain. It's a simple little mountain, but it's looking nice. Okay. Good. Now I think I want some trees. Some trees out in the background. So what I'll do, I'll take some ivory black, a little Prussian blue. Okay, a little Prussian blue in there. Some scent green, there's some crimson. Now I mix them up good, good. Okay, that's good. Now I'll take the old one inch brush and I'm just going to go right into some color. I'm going to tap it right into that paint. Just tap it in there, get it in there. We need to tap it. And that brush is open up. Okay, it's nice and open. Good, good, good. Now we go back here. And we'll decide where some trees live. Tree moves right there. There's where my trees are living. And that's good. Okay, more trees. Just more trees. Add them. Keep adding to it. Just more right there. They go bigger. And this goes bigger, 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 bigger. Good. Just get it in here. It don't matter. You got some shapes. Just some nice, beautiful shapes. And we'll just let them go. Going again, there. That's good. You're doing good. Now, now, now. I want to pull this paint out just a little bit. Okay, automatic reflections. Automatically. We get some reflections back here. Okay, now I want to put some highlights. Some highlights on these. On these little bushes. And I want to do some kind of peachy kind of color. So I want to take a little magic white. A little Indian yellow, a little touch of the red, just a little tiny touch. <laughs> and see, it's kind of turned to like a kind of a peachy kind of color. And that's what I want. That's what I kind of want. And let's go up here now. We're going to have a big one first. And we're just going to tap. So I'm just tapping it. I need more magic white. That's what we need. More magic white. More Indian yellow. More cadmium yellow. Yeah, let's get a little bit more of those reds. Okay, good. No more. One of them, one of them. What? And look here, more of those trees come in. Look at those trees. Beautiful trees. 
Okay, look at him. Look at him go. Oh, look at the trees. And maybe some, this time, this time I'll add some, some yellow ochre to them. A little bit of yellow ochre. Remember a little magic wand again. And all magic wand does is thin down the paint a little bit so we can stick it to our, uh, to our thicker paint that's underneath it. And then there's a tree that lives right there. Now we're doing this tapping these little trees. Leave the darks. Make sure you leave the darks. You need those little darks in there. And maybe a little bit more of that one color there. Kind of lives here. There's where it lives. Maybe we'll go the, the magic white. A little bit more. There, that's good. And I think, I think this time we'll some more of the cadmium yellow. More cadmium yellow. A little bit more, more, more. And we use a very firm paint here for the wet on wet style here. For the wet on wet painting. We want to get very firm paint. So we have to thin it down a little bit so we just stick it to the rest of it. And we'll go, we'll go right back here. And all I'm using is one little corner of this brush just to let it stick. Okay. And bring more on this one down here just a little bit. And then what we do here is just kind of, well, I got the brush with the yellow on it. I'll just kind of throw this a little bit into the water. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. And I'll pick up, I'll pick up another one inch brush. And we'll just put a little bit of red right there. A little bit of permanent red. Permanent red. And probably need a little magic wine. Let's turn kind of pinkish color tone. It'll be okay. Let me go back here. Oh yeah, look at there. That's an eye catcher right there. That's a little eye catcher. That's good. That's good. And I like to put it somewhere in this area so I get the eye more going to the mountain. So I'm going to add just a little bit of red so the eye will go right there. Okay? Good. Good, good. Now we just need to throw a little bit of that red into the water as well. Good. And now we just kind of Pull it down just a little bit, just graze it just a tiny little bit, and go across. Then we just want to go across. Good. And then we'll take the old knife and we'll wipe it off. Good, good. And we need some, we need some water lines back here. And all we're gonna do is take some white and get a little roll of paint. That easy. Let's go up here and put some lines in. Now I'm not gonna put no a little dirt back here because it's going to be a little bit too far away to kind of see the dirt. Good. Good. Maybe, maybe a little more of a... That, that. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Okay, that's good. Maybe a little bit more. Good. That looks beautiful. And now we need some more stuff in here. We go back to the darks. And then, 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 then I'll throw in some stuff here. And just gonna put them in right there. And it's a nice little lake or pond, whatever you want to call it. A little lake. We go fishing here. And so, I think we need a little path in here today. I'll tell you what I'll do. We'll decide where a little path will be. And a little path will be somewhere up there. Somewhere right in here. Okay, now we got the little path idea in there. Just kind of get you a basic idea of what you want to do. And I'll just kind of go back into my dogs again. And we'll decide where more of those trees will be. Kind of fill in a little bit more darker. Here they will just get in here on this side, this side I'll go, I'll go. I want more, 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 more in here. And we're just basically filling an area so that way we can, that way the path is right into the painting. Okay, good. Now I'll just put some dark in here just to fill it up a little bit. Good. Now what I'm going to do, 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 do is I'm going to mix up some more dark colors. So I'll take some more ivory black, some Prussian blue, some brown, some green, 
the Legion Crimson. And it's good. Okay. And I'll take an old fan brush. The old dirty fan brush we use in the sky. And I want big old evergreen in here today. Big old evergreen. Big old super evergreen. And he'll be right here. Oh, it's gonna be a big one. Oh, he's gonna be a big old tree. And we just put the tree in. Okay. Good. Just put him in. Now let me watch white. I put my basic starter line in and then I go to town on it. Okay, good. And there's your tree. We need to put some little scratchy stuff in here. That way we got some little, little bone things in this area. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna put the old path in. Put the old path in. So I'll take the old I'll take the old brown first. And we'll decide where the old path will start to come in. Okay, get more up brown. And then we just want to put the dots in. That other thing was just an outline, so we kind of know where it's going to be. And we just don't care, we just fill it in. Just fill it in. That's good. Darker. We need a place where we can walk up here and go fishing and catch the old fish. Good old place to go. Good old place to go. Okay, it's getting dark. Dark works. Yeah, it's good. He goes back into there somewhere or another. Okay, kind of wipe the old knife off a little bit more. Then we go into this old color here. It had the yellow and white in it. And then we'll just start to just start to highlight them. Oh yeah, it's good. Good. That's nice. That's nice. And right now it's going to look a little rough right now, but that's okay. When we start to put those little bushes and trees in beside of them, he'll go right into the painting. You know what? He'll go right in there. You will just see. There we go. And there's a little path. Good. And we need to highlight everything. Everything needs a highlight. Everything needs a shadow. And we're going to the yellows again. And this time we'll push up. We'll push up here. There we go. Beautiful tree. In here. Need some more magic white. And some more over here. Beautiful trees. Beautiful trees. I'm just taking the yellow. That's all I'm doing. Some cadmium yellow. There's a little yellow ochre in it. It don't matter. And over here is another, another little tree. And see, there's a big one in front of the evergreen tree. A big one in front. We need more magic white though. To get him the stick, we need magic white. Okay, make sure you get out the darks in between. And we're gonna go right over top of our little path. So the little path. It goes way in there. It goes way in there. Okay. And then we'll switch. We'll switch to going to the flat side. And we'll just start to put in our little big long grasses. And we'll go right over top of our path. And all of a sudden, the little path's going to be right in there. Okay, and we'll more and more. And this side kind of just covers the path up a little bit. Sets them right into the painting. Right into the painting. Okay, that's nice, that's good. Then I'll see what I'll do. I'll highlight that little tree, little evergreen tree. A little bit more. Okay, and let's go up here. And I'll just do it on one side of the tree. I'll give him a little highlight. Then we'll give him some scratches. Back to the dark. Okay, that's good. And with that, I think I got me a beautiful finished little painting in here. And I think it's ready to go into an art gallery. So, 
Hope you enjoyed this little show. I hope I taught you some good things to do with some beautiful mountains, trees, a little path in there. And I hope you join me next time. Have a good one.